Hi everybody, so I'm going to just take a quick look into what your person wants you to know, what they're feeling, just, just a quick update. If you're following my channel, you know that I do zodiac based readings at least once a month. I've also just started doing twin flame and soulmate readings. I also do third party readings. And with the twin flame and soulmate readings, it's DM to DF, what is the masculine want the feminine to know? And then it's DF to DM, what is the feminine want the masculine to know? So it's anyone, it could be male, male, it could be female, female. It's just whoever is in, um, whoever identifies as male or female or whoever is currently in masculine or feminine energy. So, and this, this reading, the, the true love readings, just for those of you that are following me and kind of like wondering what's going on, like with the different types of readings. So when it says true love reading, that means maybe I'll, I'll think of another name for it. I don't know, but it just means basically it's, it's not specific to feminine energy or masculine energy. It's just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So I'm going to get a quick update. Um, for the week of, let's see, so like the 7th to the 14th, what does your person want you to know? What's the which is general any energy updates? What is just a quick message, something that you just need to know about this connection right now? Yeah, they've been, it's coming in quick because they were trapped and they were blocked and tied up, um, especially those in third party situations or those that just, I, I keep channeling a lot of people that just not necessarily are in third party situations, but just haven't fully healed from karmic relationships and connections, haven't fully healed from trust issues, pain, regrets. Um, and so they're cutting a lot of cords, I think, over the next week. The things that have been trapped and, and blocking them and tying them up, they're they're coming through that they're seeing your your they're realizing this connection is destiny they're seeing your warmth and your light you've been their safe space you've been their rock you've been there through them through all this darkness even when they were blinded to the connection and didn't realize what they had in front of them they're taking that blindfold off now and realizing that that this connection is destiny that this is true love that it is safe for them to love and to, to work on letting their trust issues go. And they just see you as just pure light, pure warmth. They see you as their rock, their safe space, someone who was there for them in their dark times, somebody they could truly be themselves with and be truly happy with. So lots of, um, you know, out with the old and with the new type energy this week where they're, they're ending all those old patterns and they're, there you're kind of getting them through it too even if you're not consciously together just your support your love maybe you're you're doing healing spells for them or you're just telepathically communicating they can feel your support they feel your stability they feel that your love is consistent in their lives um i'm just feeling that warm loving happy just good energy from you that healing energy you that you've been sending them is helping them have the courage and assertiveness to move forward and and come forward with some kind of love offer for you you know we do have yeah it looks like they're moving out of this negative energy pretty quick like it's still there it's not like they've moved out of it completely but they have been cold and guarded and distrusting and just kind of stagnant and complacent due to the karmic or due to things that they've been through um you know they're afraid of being manipulated and deceived again they have this fear of commitment this fear of getting hurt again but here we have fast moving energy chaos sudden turn of events so it's like they just come out of this energy i see a lot of life changes for them this week like ending karmic cycles ending karmic relationships really cutting cords doing cut and clear work like cutting the karmic out or just healing from something, maybe just having epiphanies and and finally letting go of the the damage that I mean they're always going to be a little bit damaged, but you know what I mean. Like they're 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 more willing to release the um, the past and the karmic and all the issues that came with him or her. They're they're looking forward. They're 
there's just some fast changes, like some tower moments coming in for them. And they're, you're, you know, you're their safe space, their rock, their warmth, their happiness, their light. And so you're helping them through these tower moments and these life changes. You're helping them, your support is helping them have the courage to be assertive and move forward with you. What do we have after? Let me get a quick message over here. What do we have after this? Yeah, it's really good energy. Um, I think they've been focusing on their finances and career a lot, just, or maybe you have, just because you haven't wanted to focus on like the pain and stuff, but, or maybe they're getting their finances in order to come back to you with, a, you know, in a more stable mindset. But um, I think they're going to, they're going to start shifting that focus from finances to you a little bit more because this is a true love potential life partner that you have here they have been spying on you stalking your social media um this is destiny this is this is new love that you have coming in and they're getting tired of just spying you know as as they're especially maybe if they're focusing on like finances or school it might be helping them have the confidence to come forward as well so it's like they've been spying for a long time or maybe I don't know how long it's, it's going to depend on your situation, but they've been spying, kind of just watching you um, it is destiny. It is it is new love and they're they're getting to this point where they are going to allow themselves to be more vulnerable and receptive and um, open with you, basically. I think they're working up the courage right now. It's like they've been spying and watching you and they're kind of to that point where they're, once they, I think once they really, like they might have like an epiphany this week or maybe they just, they're just going to be in their head this week and they're going to start realizing like, hey, I don't want to have trust issues forever. I don't want to be alone forever. I don't want to be in this dark place forever. I don't want to keep self-sabotaging and keep running from the things that are good for me i don't want to always love the wrong people and push away the right people you know like i i'm tired of this energy i i want more for myself i i want true love i want this life partner and so they're kind of going to be in their head this week and they might be having some real epiphanies and making some serious life changes and really just getting in this new mentality this new perspective of just letting the past go and and welcoming the future any quick final messages? Yeah, they've been waiting. I think you guys prayed for each other. It's like something you've both been kind of waiting on. It's like they prayed for you, you prayed for them. Like this was divine. You know, you guys were both wondering where your true love was. And it's it's like it's here. Um, and they're getting out of this period of waiting. It's like they've been waiting and spying and just kind of playing it cool and not knowing what to say or not saying much and they're coming into this more masculine strong energy where they're wanting the stability they're wanting the commitment they're getting tired of just dreaming they want to make this a reality they want it they want more they don't want to just live in their head and keep fantasizing about it they they want to actually finally let go of the past and the negativity and have a life i think they've just been lonely and stagnant and it's like things have just been kind of going in circles for them and they're really being forced to face their shit right now and recognize that you know like what kind of life do you want what do you where do you want to see yourself in five or ten years do you really want to be alone and sabotaging still do you really want to be stuck in some karmic toxic relationship do you really want to you know what I mean? Because I think this person is normally very passionate and romantic and they lost that side of themselves over time and especially with the karmic. And so they're reclaiming that passionate romantic side of themselves. And it has a lot to do with your warmth and light and support. You're helping them do that. You're helping them see how assertive these people are. It's like you're helping them get into this passionate, romantic, spiritual kind of energy and, you know, be loyal and, and stable and make these commitments in and vows and promises to you and do better and they're making these vows to themselves as well that they're not going to allow the karmic back in that they're not going to allow themselves to be mistreated by somebody who's toxic again that they're going to be more stable that they're going to be more careful who they love that they're going to be more consistent with you that they're going to be loyal to the right people 
and start cutting out the wrong people. It's like they've got this sort of truth here and they're just going to cut away all the illusion and all the negativity, all the things that, they, that have been holding them back. So I sense a week of breakthroughs for, for them for sure. And then coming into this towards the end of the week, coming more and more deeper into this passionate, romantic, just open energy where they just have this new love of life. Like they're just, I think they've been bored with their lives and kind of stagnant and just lonely and going in circles for such a long time that I think a lot of them are really anxious to like travel and go to school or travel or pursue their dreams or take you on a vacation. Um, just, just live their life again. Like they just, they want to just live their life. They want to be happy again. They want to appreciate life again. And they're coming back into that passionate, romantic, spiritual energy um, and, and into this more stable, loyal energy towards the end of the week as these as they make these life changes with your telepathic support and warmth and light that you've been providing them. So it's really, it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a week of breakthroughs. So if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.